Okay, so I have a really old oil bath cleaner and it is really scummy. So I need to give it a clean out. What you'll find is that there are clips. Ow! Ugh, it's pretty grim. Um, and here is, here is the bit, this is the filter bit. It's actually got horse hair in there. I don't know if you can see that, but in there is horse hair. So I need to clean that bit out. I'm not sure how I get to that. Um, but you can see, oh, look at the state of my oil. That's not happy oil, is it? Now, I haven't had bud for long. So this is how um, bud arrived with his oil that color. Ugh. And, That is the colour of the uh, oil filler cap. Can you see that? It's like mayonnaise. Oh, Ugh. it's pretty, pretty grim. So he is going to have a proper oil change. That is one of the things that I'll be sharing with you guys. Oh, I'm a bit grossed out by that. Okay, so what do I do with all that oil? Um, I've got a milk bottle over here that I put other bits of oil in. And I can dispose of this properly. That was... Oh, that was... ...has uh, managed to not film me getting most of the gloop out of there, but you can tell it's, it's pretty grim. Um, and you can... T I've started cleaning out as well from inside here. It's like a child's snotty nose in there. Is that right? No, no, apparently it I've not seen a snotty nose like that colour. No. <laughs> Maybe I've just been... Oh, can you, can you see in that? Can you see all the metallic little bits, all the shards? So this means that my oil bath, hopefully, has been doing its job. And the idea is that it sucks all of the nasty rubbish and crap out of the air that goes into the carb stops the carb um, ending up like this. Um, so there's like big bits of metal. Um, so at one point this oil bath was doing what it was meant to do, and stopping all of that getting through to my carburetor. But it's been so long since it's been cleaned out, uh, it probably isn't doing anything at the moment. Um, and I have to say my carburetor was pretty bad when I cleaned that out. So poor Bud has been kind of sat around for a long time uh, in between owners and even when he had owners, the last person who owned Bud bought him for his son. His son didn't want him so he just kind of sat around for, I don't know, six months, a year, not doing anything. And of course that really is not good for any car, but particularly for old cars. It doesn't help any of the systems that need lubricating, whether it's um, the suspension or whether it's uh, the engine. You can see it's just relentless. Oh. Good toilet paper as well. I should have bought some rubbish stuff, shouldn't I? Some crappy stuff. <laughs> you don't want some shitty newspaper. Don't or shitty toilet roll. No. Shitty, yes please. No. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the tissue right in there. Right, you see this lip here? Because there's loads of stuff sitting there and it looks like it's all that nasty metal that's probably come from um, I don't know the fuel tank 
But I think also, this was the state of some of my pipes. You see? Now these are the hoses that have been dealing with the air. And they're pretty old and tatty. I wouldn't be surprised if some of that metal has sheared off. But a lot of people don't really bother about this kind of thing, but it's essential. I mean, imagine if you're running down the road and your lungs are full of rubbish and you just can't breathe. That's what happens to beetles when they're not breathing properly. Um, they just, you know, they just stop working properly. starting to see metal under here. Are you just showing the air? Yes, the I'm sky. showing the plane. It's actually blue skies here in Cornwall. Beautiful. Lovely. That, this is my wife speaking in the background, very kindly filming me, because my phone has run out of... Right, I've finished cleaning it now. The state of these gloves. They're really disgusting. I'm glad that I was wearing them, but obviously... <laughs> Not that clean. It's alright. You're going to wash these for me later, wifey. Rude. <laughs> right, so let me show you. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm not going for a show winner. But it is cleaner. It is a lot cleaner. I've cleaned out there as well. And this little tube, that's the breather tube as well. So I've given that a good old clean. Still a little bit oily. Um, but it's certainly good enough for me so that I can crack on with um, getting FUD started at least, getting his engine rolling. Look at all the tissue, look, look at all this, it's disgusting. Oh, gross. Um, no wonder he couldn't breathe properly and he was struggling. So I've got my oil here, my fresh oil. Ugh. So exciting opening new oil. <gasps> okay, I'm just gonna pour. Let's put it sideways on. Pour just a little bit into the bottom. If you see, there is a red line that shows you where to fill up to. So let's just see if that is about right. I reckon that's about right. Now do remember, it's just going to pour out if you hold it at an angle. So keep it flat, as flat as you can, okay? Put the lid on. There's only one way the lid will go on. Put the clamps back on. There you go, nice and tight. And then that can go back on here. Like that. And there's a little screw here. Just need to tighten that. And that's it. That's the oil bath on.